A family that plays together stays together. That's the motto of a father from Saint Petersburg, whose ten children form their own brass band. He says that despite money troubles and age differences, he wanted his kids to speak a common language, that of music. You wouldn't think Vladimir and Adezhda Alexeyev have the energy to smile. Being responsible for looking after not one, not two, or even three, but ten children, ranging from three to 19 years old. But despite a lack of personal space, not to mention a lack of money, the St. Petersburg family say they couldn't be happier. So what's their secret? It's all about being patient towards each other and learning to understand, help and accommodate one another. With both parents not working, Nadezhda being a full-time mum and Vladimir retired, the family survives on a government allowance of 20 US dollars a day. After paying for staple items such as five loaves of bread and four litres of milk, not much is left over. This might lead to quarrels or discontent in other households, but this family of 12 says it has a special way of staying together. Music. Each one of them plays numerous instruments, ranging from the trumpet to the clarinet to the tuba. <laughs> It's the brainchild of Father Vlad, who, two years ago, decided he wanted his very own family brass band. My children are of different age and they certainly have various interests. So there had to be some link that would unite the young and old members of my family. And I couldn't think of anything better than a family orchestra. The children's talent draws attention from their neighbours, but also from further afield. They regularly perform at concerts in and around St. Petersburg. <laughs> Oldest child, Astra, meaning star, is setting an example for her siblings to follow. She's the only female tuba player in St. Petersburg. The family band is a really interesting idea. We have a large age difference between us, but the band brings us together. I believe if I have children, they will be playing with my brothers and sisters. Most of the instruments are second-hand or donated, and the children get free lessons at a music academy where they can train and practice. For Vladimir, music is a way of bringing his ten children together, and he has no plans to stop. He says he wants to have as many children as possible, so this Russian family orchestra is only going to get bigger. Charlotte Lamasfali, RT, St. Petersburg. Mm. Thank <laughs> you.